Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video I would like to talk about using binoculars for astronomy. So in this video I would like to compare two different binoculars and like to talk about using them for astronomy. In the end I would like to talk about which of these binoculars I would recommend for astronomy. So in this video I would like to compare the 10 by 25 binoculars, so these small binoculars, and these um, 10 by 50 binoculars. So if you plan to buy one of these binoculars for astronomy, but still you aren't sure which of these binoculars are better for you, then this video will be really, really helpful to you because in this video, I would like to compare these two binoculars. So as you can see, I've listed up different features that are important when using these binoculars for astronomy. And in the end, I would like to give you my final opinion, which of these binoculars I would recommend. And in the end, I would like to talk about one or two objects that you can easily observe with these binoculars in the night sky. This video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself. But now I would like to start. So as you can see, I've listed up these two binoculars. And when planning to buy these binoculars, you can see that there are two different numbers. In this case, for example, 10 and 50. And these numbers are very important when using binoculars for astronomy. The very first number stands for the magnification. So in this case, both binoculars do have magnification of 10 times. 10 times of magnification is quite good for astronomy. You will get a very wide field of view. Um, I'm furthermore using these big uh, 20 by 80 binoculars. So if you're interested in these binoculars, I have already made a video about these binoculars and feel f so feel free to check out this video right there. But in this video, I would like to focus on these two binoculars and uh, I would like to talk about which of these binoculars is better. As I have mentioned, both binoculars do have magnification of 10 times. So 10 times of magnification is actually quite good to observe a lot of objects in the night sky. So with 10 times of magnification, you can observe a lot of objects in the night sky including the moon or different deep sky objects. So in this case, the magnification of both binoculars is actually the exact same. The next number stands for the aperture of your binoculars. So in this case, the first uh, binoculars do have an aperture of 25 and the other ones do have an aperture of 50. And um, the aperture is very important. So uh, when using these binoculars, you will have uh, these built-in classes. And the aperture actually means the uh, diameter of this optical component. So in this case, these binoculars do have an aperture, so a diameter of uh, 50 millimeters. And the aperture is a very important aspect when using binoculars for astronomy. So if you're planning to buy binoculars for astronomy, the aperture is something that is very important. Because in astronomy, we are observing very dark objects. For sure, there are also bright objects such as planets or the moon, but usually we are planning to observe these darker objects such as galaxies or nebulae. In this case, it's very important to have a big diameter because when having a bigger aperture, um, the light gathering power is better, which means that we collect more light. And collecting more light is very important because these objects are very dark and therefore the aperture is very important. In this case, the difference is quite big. So one does have 25 millimeters of aperture and the other one 50. So in this case, the 10 by 50 binoculars are much better for observing objects in night sky because when planning to buy binoculars for astronomy, the aperture is one of the most important aspects and therefore it will be easier for you to observe these deep sky objects with these 10 by 50 binoculars. The 10 by 25 binoculars are not that suitable for astronomy and for observing these deep sky objects. The next aspect is the field of view. When talking about the field of view, both binoculars do have a very wide field of view because the magnification is not that much, that's for sure. So with these ones, it's easier for you to find deep sky objects in night sky. So when using these big 20 by 80 binoculars with 20 times of magnification, it is more difficult to find objects in night sky. Still, it's very easy compared to a telescope, but that's something I'd like to mention. The next aspect I would like to talk about is how heavy these binoculars are. Definitely the difference is quite big, but compared to these 20 by 80 binoculars, these ones are definitely not that heavy. So on these 20 by 80 binoculars, they are quite heavy, so around two kilograms. So in this case, these two binoculars are not that heavy. For sure, the 10 by 50 binoculars are a bit more heavier. The 10 by 25 binoculars, they are very portable, and the 10 by 50 binoculars they are larger and less portable, but compared to other binoculars, such as the 20 by 80 binoculars, they are still very portable, that's for sure. The next aspect I would like to talk about is using a tripod when using these binoculars. In some cases, you will need a tripod when using binoculars. In this case, you will not need a tripod uh, for both binoculars. When using the 20 by 80 binoculars, I would definitely recommend using binoculars because these binoculars are very heavy and then you will move all the time and therefore you will not get a clear view of the night sky. But in this case, both binoculars are not that heavy and therefore you will not need a tripod when using these binoculars for astronomy. Something about the price, um, the 10 by 25 binoculars, they are very affordable. So they are not that expensive and um, the 10 by 50 binoculars, 
they are more expensive, but they are still very, very affordable. So now to my final opinion about using both binoculars for astronomy. In this case, it's quite easy to answer that question. So I would definitely go for the 10x50 binoculars because they do have a higher aperture. And that's so important for astronomy. When using these 10x25 binoculars, you will not see a lot of structures in these deep sky objects because the aperture is simply too small. And so in this case, I would definitely go for the 10x50 binoculars. As I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video, this video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself and the opinions about these products are my own. So if you have any more questions about using these two binoculars for astronomy, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. And if this guide in this video was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, clear skies, Felix.